Hey guys, Dale Martin here, Instructional Coordinator for Technology. Just wanted to give you guys a, a real brief uh, video tutorial on something called interactive slides. Um, you know, Google Slides or PowerPoint tends to be linear in fashion. Every time you click, you go to a new slide. So this is something a little more interactive. It lets your viewer think that they're in charge of what slide they can go to next. Uh, makes it a little more interesting. You can stitch these presentations together onto a web page and so that you can have a very dynamic uh, interactive set of material or slides um, that you can go through um, without a whole lot of work and so there's a couple different things that you can do with uh, these slides you can uh, do classroom quizzes like in this situation right here um, basically if you click anywhere, it's probably a better example. So here's question one, and only if I click on the right answer, uh, which in this case I believe is 200 feet, so if this was in present mode, and we clicked on 200 feet, it takes us to the uh, correct answer page. On the other hand, if I click on 50 feet, oops, sorry, go back, try again. And so that's one thing that you can do with this. Um, and I want to get out of that. Another thing you can do is the old adventure books. You probably remember when you were a kid, you got to pick the ending of your book by uh, choosing what happened next. So you could write like an entire adventure book. These are actually just a Google Slides presentation. And if I click here, it continues and uh, moves on. And for our purposes today, the one that we're going to do um, is an interactive slide deck or slideshow. And the best example of that is this right here. So here's a presentation a young man did. Uh, he was charged with uh, talking about three different parts of the United States after the Civil War. So he could have just talked about the Southeast, the Northeast, and the West, but instead what he did was he created this Google slide, and, and any one of these areas that I click on, it automatically takes me to that section and tells me uh, some important concepts about that section after the Civil War. And then anywhere else I click, it takes me back to my original slide. If I want to know about the Northeast, I click here. It takes me back. If I want to know about the Southeast, I click here. So same information, just a much more interesting way to convey it. And if you're not the kind of person that likes to talk in front of a group, maybe uh, this is your ticket because all the hard work is done beforehand and all you really have to do is present the the presentation or have someone else present it and talk about it this also works great on tablets and iPads and things like that anything with a touch screen because uh, your audience now can just touch the screen and go to that particular section so a lot more interactive and a lot more interesting so let's make one okay what we have here is just a totally blank slide so we're gonna go out and look for an image um, and I'm just going to search Google Drive, and I'm going to look for something in the digestive system. And I'm going to pick this one right here because it doesn't have any words or labels on it. Kind of fits my purposes. And there we go. Make it maybe a little bigger. Get it away from the edge. And now I'm going to work smart, not hard. And what I want to do is I'm just going to copy this three or four times. I need an origination slide, and then I need one slide for every single part of that system that I'm going to talk about. Remember, the map had three sections, so that's what we'll do. We'll go with three sections, which means we're going to need a total of four slides. So I'm just going to hit duplicate, and there we go. We have my four slides. So this is my origination slide. Um, maybe this will be the slide where I talk about the mouth, this will be the slide where I talk about the stomach, and this is where I talk about the small intestines. So I'm going to go ahead and label those. Alright, the way you label one of these is we're just going to go over here to slide 5, which is uh, the last one, I think the small intestines. We're going to come over here and click text box, and we're going to put a big old box right here in the middle, and we're just going to call that small intestines. 
and you know I can gussy this up and make this bold or change the color and I can come down here and I can put in any text that my teacher wants me to put in uh, about the small intestines click that out of there sorry about that um, so that's how you do that and I've already done that for uh, the stomach and I've already done that for the mouth so there is a text box there that we can uh, put our information in. So the next question is how do we get to these spots? Well that's really easy. We go back to our origination slide and what we're going to do is go up to this drawing tool right up here and we're going to pick something called the polyline. And what the polyline allows me to do is it allows me to draw a polygon. And a polygon is anything you know with closed sides and uh, doesn't matter how many sides but I'm gonna start with the mouth and so for the mouth I'm gonna click and it gives me a line and I can decide okay I want a vertices right there so I click one time and now I get another line and I click one time and now I get another line and I click again so you see what I'm doing I'm just going all the way around back to the point of origin trying to close that figure and when I close it two things happen it gets highlighted but it also becomes opaque and I need for that to be transparent so the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to my fill button and click transparent while I have it highlighted I'm going to go over here to link click slides in this presentation and I want this to go to slide three and click apply so now what happens is anytime someone comes along and clicks right inside this area your presentation will automatically jump to slide three okay so let's go ahead and do that again for another slide you can see the faint outline right there so let's do the stomach next so once again we go to polyline and you should be more careful about how you draw these but I'm just gonna click and click we'll close it up there once again I got to make it translucent and then once again I'm going to make my link so I want to link to a slide in this presentation and in this case the stomach slide is slide four so I'm going to click four and apply all right so that's two examples of how to do that I'm going to go ahead and do the fifth one uh, offline and then we'll be back in just a second okay we're back and we have all three slides linked uh, if we go to present, you'll see on slide two, um, you can kind of see where the lines that we drew uh, are uh, in each section. And I see the slide three is not showing up, so I'm going to have to go back and fix that. For whatever reason, that one didn't take. Um, but if I click on the stomach, it takes me to the slide. Uh, where we had the information for the stomach now the problem is I can't get back um, so we have to figure out how we're going to fix that if I click anywhere in here it's just going to take me to the next slide which is the small intestines so we have one more thing to do on each of these slides and uh, I want to show that to you right now so what we can do to fix that is the same thing we did up here at slide two where we made these regions and turned them into hyperlinks we're going to do that on slides three four and five but watch this we're going to do the entire area so i need a huge rectangle and you'll notice that when i draw it first thing is it it goes opaque make it transparent click on the link yes i want it to be a link in this presentation and in this case i want it to go back to slide two that way if somebody touches anywhere and clicks anywhere in this area it'll automatically go back to slide two so let's do that one more time on slide four um, we're going to create the shape I'll try to get the whole area we're going to make it transparent and once again we want it to go back to slide two all right so I'm gonna hit pause and I'm gonna do that on slide five uh, you've seen that twice now you probably don't need to see it a third time and then when I come back we'll wrap this up 
Okay, so I just finished doing this for uh, slide five, and I found something that I really want to share with you. Um, it looks like I've mistyped the word intestines, and it won't let me fix it because this whole big box is on top of it. So if you need to go back and edit anything, you have to pull that box down and then go into that area. Just making this worse and worse. Oh my goodness, so sorry. Now you're going to pull that box back up to protect that area. And if we run it from the top, hit present, then what we're going to have is the mouth, the stomach, the small intestines, all hyperlinked. We would have our text box here for our information. No matter where our students or our uh, audience clicked, it's going to go back to slide two. We could certainly put something here, a graphic or some information about this particular body system. If I click on stomach, I go to that slide. No matter where I click, I go back. And then if I click on small intestines, um, I'm taken to that slide. So I hope this helps. Um, pretty simple. There's really only two new processes, um, the polyline and actual linking it. And um, once again, there is a, a presentation. There is a presentation that's available to you. Here's the link to that. I'll also give it to your teacher. Uh, it will have links to all the different examples that we talked about in case you're interested in doing some other things um, with interactive slides. Here's the process. It talks a little bit about how you uh, uh, go back and protect each slide so you end up back at the top. And then there's also just a little cheat sheet on... Uh, Make those first, make your uh, destination slides first, and duplicate those, and then you don't have to go and do each one individually. This is especially helpful if you have like 25 slides or 50 slides in your presentation. And then finally, uh, there are some resources that you can, uh, you can utilize. The last thing you can do if you want is you can join uh, my, my uh, instructional technology classroom the link for that, it's a Google Classroom, and the link for that, or the code, rather, for that is the letter O, the letter G, 59YA. So that's October Golf 59 um, Yankee Alpha. OG 59YA. You're certainly welcome to join that classroom, and I'll put the link there as well. Um, you can also email me at dmartin at splendorisd.org, uh, and you can follow my Twitter feed. So thanks, guys. Hope this helps. Uh, hope it was a better use of your time than me coming and, and sitting up, taking up your whole class period. And if you have any questions, just reach out uh, either directly through your teacher or through the Google Classroom page. So good luck to you.